welcome back to Coach and Data. Here I am Harshita Chamla once again with all of you. I know it's been a while. I haven't came up with any video but today here we are gonna write a program to find the HCF of two numbers entered by the user. HCF I hope uh, all of you should know what is HCF. HCF is great, the highest common factor, the reverse of LCM which is the least common factor. And in case anybody doesn't know what is HCF, then uh, come write in the comment section and uh, I'll make a whole tutorial on what is HCF and LCF. Now, uh, LCM. Now let's quickly jump onto our compiler. Here I have already included my header files, iostream.h, conio.h, using namespace, std. Uh, and I have declared a main function also. Now. Uh, let's just declare our variables in n1 that is for number 1 and n2 that is for number 2. Now let's see out. Enter the first number c in n1. See out. Enter the second number. C in N2. Now uh, we'll use while loop here. My bad. Till N1 is not equals to N2. Now if number 1 that is N1 is greater than N2. So, we will subtract the smaller number from the largest number. Okay. So, here it will be n1 minus equal to n2. Else, if n2 is greater than n1, n2 minus equals to n2. Alright. Now, we will come out of the loop and uh, we will print c out. Uh, this bracket is of main. Here, see out HCF of two numbers is N1. Get CH. Now let's execute compile and run. Let's see. It's taking your time. Okay. 18, 24. Okay. Well, my bad. Let's run it again. 18. Next is 24. It's not printing any answer. What's the problem? What's the problem? Into the first number, into the second number. If n1 is greater than n2, n1 minus equals to n2 and it will store in the same number. Okay, 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 okay. Here it is the problem. Execute. Compile and run. 18, 24 is 6. That is right. So I hope you understood it. Uh, understood the logic behind this uh, HCF of a number. The logic in this program that I have used is that the smaller number is subtracted from the largest number and the result is stored in a place of larger number. Alright. The process, this process will keep on continuing Till the numbers become equal. Till both of these become equal. And that will be the HCF of 2 number. Uh, if you understood this whole video and uh, like the content, then please give a thumbs up to this video. And for more C++ programming tutorial, subscribe our channel and click on the bell notification 
to receive the notification of our upcoming videos and if you have any query then you can find us at our instagram handle which is given on your screens or you can mail your queries to our mail id that is given on your screens thank you